Weekly Updates of Australian Immigration News Hello everyone. Today, we will discuss Australian immigration's recent updates and critical insights for migrants and citizens like you. So watch till the end. But before we begin this video, want to know more about Australian immigration? Head to our website and find thousands of government-sourced information at your fingertips. Just click the link in the description below. So let's get back to the video and start with Victoria's sponsorship program. Recently, a sponsorship program has been opened for 491 and 190 visas by Victoria and has the same systems as last year. That means the registration of interest also known as ROI system is still there. However, if you want to settle down in Australia by getting a 491 visa, you must live in regional Victoria. Now, let's move to the next update New Zealanders are in rush for Australian citizenship. Around 90,000 New Zealanders have applied for Australian citizenship. This number has surged quite fast after the changes made on the 1st of July. Andrew Giles, the Immigration Minister, has stated that these applicants have long been denied a straight route to citizenship. Now, let's head up to Union Modelling Aged Care Labour Agreement. Only a few of the 800 registered providers have signed up for the Union Modelling Aged Care Labour Agreement, and it has been relatively slow. Andrew Giles has pinpointed the importance of avoiding the exploitation of migrant workers and defended this program. Next is Australian Skill Assessment Processes. To improve the skill assessment processes and avoid the challenges many have faced recently, the Minister said everyone should share their experience. This will welcome room for improvement. Our video update for today ends here. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Australian immigration. Thanks for watching.